Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Isn't it cool? I'm excited. Here we are. It's the 4th of July. My microphone looks weird. Let me see if that's better. Hey. Red on red. Hey. Red chairs ready to go. I may put my feather duster here right back there. Wouldn't that be pretty? Just show up. In fact, I might do that right now. While everybody gets here. Uh-oh, it fell. There's not a table back there. <laughs> oh my, that's funny. So, good morning, everybody. Robert's out taking pictures of mushrooms. He loves to take pictures of mushrooms. And uh, I'm going to, we're going to, we, we've been talking about Sync Reflections. This is my first book. And everybody be sure and read today's morning musing. It's all about your independence. Because, you know, back 240 years ago, our forefathers of the United States declared that this was the United States of America and that we were declaring our independence from Great Britain. And I'm reading a great book right now uh, called Killing England by Bill O'Reilly and Michael Dugard. And I like to read it every year about this time because it makes me understand what what our forefathers had to go through to to um, you know make this the country that it is and I'm really proud to be from the USA I posted a picture on Facebook this morning that was um, a picture I made in Transylvania County of a redneck celebration of the United States uh, God bless the USA isn't it wonderful? And it was just soda cans or beer cans, who knows, that were painted red, white, and blue and put on a fence. And the, the, the detail they took, because I made it at Lake Toxaway, and it was just, it may still be there, I don't know. But I made it a few years ago, and it makes me happy, and I like to pull that picture out every time I get a chance. So, folks, what are you doing for fun today? It's a holiday in the United States, and there's going to be fireworks in some places. Some other places are going to have drones flying to... Because it's too too dry. We've got 40 fires in this country. So, folks, let's let's be safe out there and let's enjoy the time with friends and family. I don't know if my skin looks wonderful. I got on good makeup. <laughs> uh, let's just say my I have uh, wear bare minerals and it just doesn't take long to put my makeup on. I know how to get rid of the red and I know how to make blush and. It's all good. Family barbecue fun and games. Let's play some cornhole. That's always fun to play. And, you know, let's just, um, you know, we've been held captive. And I'm talking about you right now. We have been held captive by your clutter. And and this, this clutter that you've been, things that you've been holding on to, is keeping you from being able to clean house. That clutter is everywhere. And we hold on to this clutter because we think we might need it one day. We don't need it. No, we don't need it. 
we just need a few simple things. A good chair to sit in, uh, some dishes to serve meals on, a skillet, a pan to boil water. We got too much stuff. Too much stuff. So let's start eliminating some of that stuff because all of our great storage places are being held hostage by stuff we don't use, that we don't love, and we can go through every little area of our house. Now, I've been thinking about another way to play our game, and I don't have it in here. I've been using it this morning to get my floors done, but another way to play the game, let's think about our storage areas in our home. You know, you, I've got a closet right here. You've got closets in your bedroom. You've got linen closets. You've got pantries. And let's come up with 20, just 20, areas in your home where you could declutter. And so pull, pull the... Pull one out and go spend five minutes decluttering one little area of your home. Not, not the whole house at one time. That's why we make it a game. That's why we, we try to have fun with it because we, we just need to declutter a little at a time. Just a little at a time. And you're going to be so blown away by how easy it really is. Yes, Laura Ingalls, I'd love to think of Laura Ingalls that way too because they had everything they needed on a wagon, in a wagon. And I like to watch those pioneer shows where people traveled across country. I've actually seen the tracks out in uh, Nebraska where the, the, the wagon trains went across country and they had just what they needed. And if you think about it, it's not a whole lot. You can watch the shows on TV that talk about tiny houses. Now, I don't think I could live in a tiny house, but if you imagine, okay, let's go back to when we were kids. We had a room. Sometimes we shared a room with a sister. And so we just had that room that was ours. And then we go off to college. After we graduate high school, we go off to college and we get our own little dorm room. Now, I didn't do that. I got married while I was in high school and start, started housekeeping in a little tiny house with a kitchen and a living room and two two little bedrooms now but we didn't have a whole lot we didn't have anything if our parents didn't give it to us and so think about getting by i had a skillet and a pan to boil water in pretty much is all i had and i could cook i could cook. somebody gave me a crock pot so you, you make do with what you've got Right now, we've been making do and adding to, and our stuff has just exploded. And we have no room for anything. So let's, this, this next week, um, this week we're in zone one. Next week we're going to be in zone two. Next week, let's declutter a lot of things we don't use in our kitchens. Let's get rid of some things. I tried renting a storage locker for a few months uh, because of all the excess and I have a small one and I can't afford the $130. No, that's costing you huge amounts of money to, to store. Let's, what it really is, it's just crap that you don't love and you don't need. So what is it that you really love? Think about it. Think about it. What, what do you actually need? 
you go off on vacation, you take a suitcase, maybe you fill the trunk of your car up with stuff that you're going to use. And when I would go on vacation with my family, I would take a big pot to boil shrimp. And I would fill that pot up with fresh tomatoes so we would have tomatoes all week. That one pot was what I used to cook because they had a skillet and thing, but they didn't have a pot big enough to boil, boil shrimp. See, we don't need a whole lot. How many family pictures on a wall is too much? I think you need just a few because you get too many, you can't look at them. And then you can change them out from year to year and put new ones up. I, I don't, and when you walk into a room, feng shui wise, when you walk into the room, to the right hand side of things and is the area to put your family pictures. Mine's right on the left side of my fireplace, which is me facing that wall. That's where I see our family pictures. I only have one little shelf of family pictures. And that's that's not too many. That's not too many. But if I had them all over the house, it would be too many. So keep it simple. Maybe you wanna just put some, some pictures on, on your piano. Maybe you just, I have a bookcase that I have some in my bedroom of some family pictures. So not a whole lot, but keep them simple. We can have way too many pictures. Have things that inspire you. I have a beautiful wall. If I were to flip this around, you could see my wall that I have wonderful, in fact, I might just do that. Let me, let me try it. Flip it around. There you can see my wall. And that's part of the mechanism that's holding everything up. But you see things that make me happy. Those are my pictures makes me happy. I have things in the window that make me happy. Going back down. There we go. Bring it down here. So we just, you need to surround yourself with things to put a smile on your face. It, you just need things that put a smile on your face. And, and keep it simple. You don't need a whole lot. For a long time, I wouldn't hang my things on the wall because I didn't know how I was gonna do it. Now, talk about perfectionism. Yes, I'm the queen of it. But guess what? I figured out a way to do it. I got some command hooks. I got some command picture hanging strips. And I just started putting those things on the back of the pictures. And I started with a centerpiece, the clock. I put the clock up first, and then I started working things around it. And I had no rhyme or reason to the frames. The frames didn't have to match. I had some fun things that people had given me over the years, some beautiful pictures, and they were just in the closet. So I wanted to put them up on the wall. And when I redid this room last summer, it made me happy. And I added one more thing today that yesterday was my American flag made by Flags of Valor. A, a veteran made this, this flag, painted it and put it and sent it to me and signed the back. So it makes me happy. Let's see if I can show a picture of it. I don't know if I can or not. There we go. Hope my phone doesn't fall. So there we have it. My flag of valor is flying high today. It may be a little low, but hey, I didn't need help to hang it. I put a nail in the wall and hung that up. I've got other things that need to be hung, but I don't have to beat myself up about not hanging them 
because I'll eventually get them all hung. But I'm I'm happy right now. Everything's crooked. I don't know if it's my camera or what. Everything's crooked. So today, I know a lot of you are off today and a lot of you are having a, a fun time today, but spend five minutes decluttering something. Bless someone else with, with your abundance. Bless someone else. You may have kids getting ready to set up their own housekeeping. Do that. Start putting together a box for them. You got way too many dishes. You got way too many glasses, way too many cups. You can get rid of about half of them and you'll still be good to go. So folks, have a good day. Spend, spend quality time with your family. Get your routines done. My house is company ready right now. Even though the puppies have been playing hard this morning. Uh, say a prayer for my little white cat. He's got a hurt paw again. I don't know what's going on with his paw. But he was in my chair and I almost had to do my video outside because he didn't want to get out of this chair. But he, for some reason he decided to get up and go get on our bed. <clears throat> so he's... I don't know if he's been bit by something or what, but his little pad is, is kind of raw and sore. And Just say a little prayer for him. And y'all just have a good day. And remember, clutter is keeping you from being free. Clutter has you held captive. So let go of it. Let go of the clutter. That's a good idea, coconut oil on the paw. That's a, I'll, I'll try that, Heidi. I like coconut oil on everything. And I got alarms going off on both arms. <laughs> I love you all. You know, spend, spend, keep saying prayers for the, the babies in um, Thailand that are caught in the cave. Keep praying for them because it's going to be hard to get them. I just can't see them staying there for three months. So let's, let's pray for the babies and let's get them out and get them home with their families. <sighs> Clutter stands in the way of everything, y'all. It just, it makes you miserable. Because you are an indentured servant to that clutter. You have to take care of that clutter. You move it from one room to the next. Guess what? You can't organize clutter. You can't put it in pretty little boxes and plastic bins and expect it to stay put. Because when you start looking for something, those boxes are going to throw up all over your house and you're going to have a bigger mess than before. The only way to handle clutter is to get it out of the house and do not go put it in another storage unit. Now, let me tell you a little secret. Here, I'm on my soapbox now. When Robert and I first got married, he was in this partnership. And this partnership owned a storage facility. Now, Fly Lady wasn't anything at that time. And then three years later, Fly Lady started. And I looked at Robert and I said, honey, we can't own a storage facility. It goes against everything I believe in. We have to, to get rid of that. We have to get rid of it. And so they sold that storage facility. Now, it was, a, it was a neat little place. It had an upstairs apartment. In fact, my son and his wife, that was their very first home when they got married. They lived in this upstairs apartment. It wasn't much of a place, but you know they, they had a lovely little home there. It was kind of cute. I got rid of a bunch of stuff to help them, <laughs> help them set up. Um, 
help them set up some things. We have to get rid of our clutter. We have to. We have to let go of it because it is keeping us grounded. It is keeping us from flying. When we will let go of the clutter, we can change everything. That clutter is keeping you down. It's keeping you depressed. The clutter has, and we have fun ways to do it. We can do a 27 fling boogie. We can do a five minute room rescue. We can gather up nine things to throw away, gather up nine things to give away. We can set our timer for two minutes and do a, a two minute purge. We can write down all the areas that have clutter in your home and put them in a jar and pull one out. I mean, I've given you five different th different ways to declutter just in 30 seconds. When, when Fly Lady first started, we got a testimony from a lady in Ireland. And she says she had started decluttering and she found seven pairs of scissors in her house. Seven. Because every time she needed a pair of scissors and she couldn't find them in her clutter, she'd go buy more. What's the jar thing? You have to look back a few videos where um, I talked about the um, writing things down on a piece of paper. Or I have these little towels that Robert made for me. Or take an old pair, old, old set of old May cards and put some put some stickers on them and write some things on them. You can come up with fun games. Call it your independence game and come up with different places to declutter. You're going to have a ball doing it this way. And just take every room in your house, take a notepad <clears throat> and go around your house and look at every place where you collect clutter. So let me think about um, my house for a second. I could declutter my junk drawer. I've got a candle drawer. I have a battery drawer. So all three of those drawers can be on that list. I have uh, underneath my kitchen sink, probably needs to be decluttered again. I've got an appliance under there that I don't use often, that I got for Christmas, but I probably need to bless someone else with it. Then I have a, I have uh, some cookbooks that could probably be decluttered. Uh, underneath a cabinet. I have some mixing bowls that could probably be decluttered. So every cabinet in my kitchen could stand some decluttering. It's not bad, but I could probably get rid of a box of stuff if I just went through each cabinet at a time and, and not, not see our perfectionism wants to pull everything out of the drawer or the cabinet and stand back and look at it empty. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go in and precisely pluck. So find a water bottle that doesn't hold the water. I mean, that it, 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 it doesn't keep the water cold. Get rid of it. Put it in a box or a bag. Run through the house. Go through each cabinet and get rid of something that you don't love anymore. You can do this. If I did it, and I have to continually do it. Every time we're in a zone, I'll declutter some in that area. It's, we work our way around the house. What's at the, at the front of your house? Right now we're in zone one, and that's our front porch. Is there anything on your front porch that you need to declutter? Then get it out of there. Get rid of it. And if you don't know what to do with it, put a free sign on it and put it out by the curb and, and then see how fast it, it takes for it to get gone. It'll be gone in no time at all. Somebody will take it. Um, the, the jar game is fun in the Keegan. It is a lot of fun. Shake it up. Uh, what, what was it? Is Taylor Swift has a shake song? <laughs> Just shake it up. This 
this is another way to do it. Put it in a little vase, reach in and grab a, it doesn't have to be wood. It can just be a piece of paper. You just have to do it. Make it a game and it'll be fun. And the more you declutter, the better off you're going to be. Declutter every day. It's a continual process. Fifteen, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, five minutes in the evening. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And the more the clutter goes away, the easier your house is going to be to keep. You know, we call it housekeeping for a reason. Once you get rid of the clutter, it is easy to keep it looking nice. So have fun. Enjoy your day. But do a little, little make a fun game. You can't organize clutter, folks. And let's work toward getting rid of those storage units. It really can save you a lot of money. Well, a, a lot of times, Kenzie, fly babies aren't good at doing stuff on eBay. They just aren't good at it because we procrastinate putting it in a box and shipping it, then we get a bad review and it's not good. It's better to bless someone else with it. And I don't believe in yard sales either because what happens with a yard sale is the guilt that we have from spending money on this stuff brings us down. So an item can keep its value if you bless someone else with it. Think about it. If you bless someone else with it, the item can keep its value. But if you're 10 cents on the dollar, you feel bad because you paid, you know, $15 for this one item and you're selling it for a quarter. It's not good for you. Now, the only time I ever recommend having a yard sale is if you're going to let your children do it and you've got to let them do it because it's, it's, it's sort of a, an entrepreneurial state. Let them have a goal of the what they're going to do with the money. Maybe they're going to, you know, go to camp or go to swim, you know, swim or go to the movies. Just think about it and let them do it. Let them have fun with it. How many blankets should you keep? I would keep one, I would keep two for each bed that you have because your heat may go out and you may need an extra blanket on your bed just to stay in your house. So having, but you've got bed spreads too, so you may just need to keep one. Uh, we have one extra, extra comforter. And we have our quilt bedspread. That's all we've got. And I have decluttered so many of them. I still have one quilt that was my mother's. And there you go. No yards. It just get blessed someone else. With. And don't allow your perfectionism to keep you from getting it to the car. Because we think we're going to find the perfect person to give things to. Let it go and let God put it in the hands of who, they, who it needs to be. You don't have to know where it's going. So there's Goodwill trailers everywhere. Bless Goodwill with it. They'll get it into the hands that they need it. And don't let your, your, your perfectionism get in the way of you just getting it out of the house. Same thing with recycling. You know, we... We want to make sure all our, our plastics and cardboards and our homes become this landfill because we don't take it to the recycling center. So let's get rid of this stuff. Your homes deserve to be treated better than this. So folks, 
a Habitat for Humanity will not take clothing, just so you know. Enjoy your day. Declare your independence from clutter. I want to see... I want to see thumbs up telling me that you're going to declare your independence from clutter. Do it now. Make the commitment. Let's get rid of some cl clutter. Let's get rid of it. Come on, declare your independence from this clutter. Make the commitment to let it go and bless someone else. Get it out of the house. It's, the rule is, as soon as you gather up a box, take it straight to the car. Don't wait. Don't wait. Get it straight to the car, and then when you're out, you can donate it. Declare your independence from clutter. I'm so proud of y'all. You can do it. You really can. I love you all. Happy 4th of July. Celebrate. I'm going to go back and read some more on my book. See ya.